Hello, in today's video, we shall be talking about in-cabin air filters. What are these? In-cabin air filters are elements that you install in your air system, making sure that the air that you draw into your vehicle and circulate to breathe is good quality. Basically, that's all it does, cleans out your air. In these vehicles we'll be talking about, they're located behind the glove box, usually right before the blower motor, so the blower motor sucks air from the outside through your cowl, and right before it gets in there, the filter catches the bad stuff, okay? And I admit, it's, you know, that location is a little challenging for maintenance, especially as often as they want you to do it. And they're not very conspicuous, but Nissan, advise, Nissan and Infinity advise that you change them out every, every year or 12 months. I don't think I've seen a mileage recommendation, maybe 12,000 or 15. Either way, in today's video, I apologize that we're not going to be doing the actual installation, but I shall be discussing options. This one is going to touch the newer, newish uh, Infinity vehicles from 2002 and up. And maybe if you watch this video, you'll see some things that might cross-reference to whatever vehicle you, you, you own. All right. So this is what a basic filter element looks like. Pleated filter element right here. And as I said, you just jam this into the path of air. And at some point it will get dirty and throw it away. I don't think there's really much value in trying to reuse this, especially as cheap as this one is. So in today's video, as I said, it's not going to be about how to do it, but I'd like to talk about options. The theme of today's video is options. OK, this one right here, I bought this for 2010 Infinity M45. I bought this one for 2012 Infinity M56. I bought this one for 2009 Infinity FX50. And I will put this in the description in better detail, but this one actually applies for the whole generation, 2006 through 2010. And the same part number was actually used with the 2003 and 4 Infinity M45. And that means the 2002 through 2006 Q45 also used that one right there. This one right here. 2011 and up Infinity M's, that is the M37, M56, M35 hybrid, and Q70, Q70L. This one right here, 2009 and up Infinity FX line, that is the FX35, FX50, FX37, and QX70. Okay, so as I said, this is what a basic filter element looks like. And what it did is I was curious about all these part numbers, right? The whole purpose is to filter out air, right? And these are the part numbers, which I'll be showing in better detail later. And I do have a, some sort of a cheat sheet, basically. This one right here, the basic one, whatever option they gave was only 25 bucks. And about the, the newest part number, this one right here. Okay. And in the 2011 and up Infinity M, they actually had a $27 option and they had a $43 option. These are all discounted numbers. If you walked into your Infinity dealership, you'd be paying a lot more than that. But then, so it's not like it just wanted expensive stuff. Kind of know why this one here, old part number, new part number, kind of know why they're a little more expensive. My vehicles, my M56 has forest air. And I've talked about forest air in a different system as to why it's cool and why there's this magical filter that works. So if you've talked, if you've read about forest air or heard about forest air, you've probably heard of the phrase or the terms grapeseed, polyphenol, in cabin air filter. And this is what that looks like. Yeah, yeah. People that Hawkeye people have probably noticed that right there. It's not dirty. That's brand new. And we'll be talking about that in a bit. So this is what that one looks like. Yeah, not special on that side yet, but bam, look at that. Great purple, kind of makes sense, right? So this is a part number. This is a fancy part number that I bought, the latest part number. And you'll see a lot of them have like the similar thing. The first five letters, first five characters are usually the same. So if you were to buy this for your M37, it's, you don't have to, it's not only limited to the, to the force air systems, right? You can buy it because I think even the G37s, Q50s kind of had that option. You can buy a plain white one for your M37 or M56 if you wanted to. And I know there are cheaper ones. This one right here, as I said, about 20 bucks. 
You could buy cheaper ones. I know I've seen cheaper ones on eBay. I've seen more expensive ones, like the ones I used to buy from Walmart. They were uh, the carbon impregnated ones, right? They look like grayish, supposed to catch orders, trap orders and stuff. And that's why you have this one. Okay, so what's the purpose? Why would you pay double for something like this? Main reason is it's just an enhancement of that. The uh, And again, forgive me if I misspeak here. Um, I didn't really go too far in my chemistry classes. But generally, the grapeseed fiber is supposed to be much better at trapping allergens and pollen. So that's that's the whole point of it. And I've, I've talked about it in, in different videos that it's when I started playing with the forest air system with my allergies and stuff, I could tell that this thing was really, really good at catching bad stuff. Right. So I I'm a believer. I know it's worked. I've tested it in and out and I've done this test before. I just didn't do it on video, but I've just decided to be a little more, I guess, to share more stuff, you know, some one, two, three people might like what I'm sharing out there. So I'm just now doing this on video. So that's the whole purpose of this. The main purpose of the grapeseed stuff is not supposed to, there's no sense to it. The whole point is to make sure that it uh, traps allergens a little better than the other stuff. Okay. So two options for the M37 and M56 and Q70. When it comes to the M, sorry, the FX, fancy part number right here. And this one starts just a little differently. And from my paper here, you'll see that the FX actually had like four superposition. Actually, a lot of them, a lot of numbers. This one right here, twenty-five bucks, forty-five dollar one. We got another twenty-five dollar. A lot. The FX because you have FX thirty-five, FX thirty-seven, FX fifty, Q seventy throughout throughout the years till when they stopped in Q in twenty seventeen. So a lot of options. How about the fancy one? It's like maybe a dollar more than this one here. And the reason was I wanted to see what would happen, right? And this one right here looks really nice. Look at that. You know, foam padded. Look at the side. Oh, look at that. That looks really good. Even comes with one of those um, filter replacement reminders. And it's written in a foreign language, so... Um, you know, I was really impressed to know that they had that in stock when I bought it from Chicago. I thought it would be something that they would need to bring in. So the fact that they have it, it's either one, they had it and no one bought it. Or two, you guys, there's a bunch of people out there buying a lot of these, you know, to, to kind of keep it in circulation. Either way, I'm happy. Okay, so here, this is where we are. And as I said, the purpose was, the purpose of this video was all about options, right? So I've done this before. Owning an M56 and an M37, I wanted to test this out. I wanted to know, well, can I use the same air filter? The answer is no. They're not exactly the same. The M56 is just a little shorter. The width is the same-ish. Well, it's actually wider, I've forgotten that. Yeah, just a little wider and shorter too, a little stubbier. So. Just something to pay in mind that you cannot use the M1 on the M1, but this one here is used on a lot of other ones. This one right here, when I was showing this paper, some people might have noticed that these part numbers right here for the FX35 are the same ones for the M45. So, although back then when the M45 and Q45 were still being produced, they did not have a grapeseed polyphenol option, I took it upon myself to buy that to test. And what do you know? Dimensionally similar. Everything is the same here. Width, length, and everything. So what does that tell you? Or what's the whole point now that we've gone to this part of the video? Uh, the answer is that I will never buy or use these in my cars ever again. I'll be paying double for these. Yes, I agree. Because as I said, I'm a believer. I know it works. And two, they just didn't have that option. And the catalogs do not show that option at all for those years of those cars. So that's the one I'll be using. And as you can see, it looks really, really nice. And I like that reminder sticker. So that's about it. Uh, as I said, we'll be talking about, we'll be doing the installation video much later. I just wanted to kind of cover my bases here. And 
if it's if the talk has been a little long, I, I apologize, but there was no quicker way for me to share the information I wanted. I did my best to have talk about what I wanted in the beginning. So if you had important things to go do, go do them. But I, I don't like giving people half information because half information could put you in a bad situation, you know, could be a little misleading. But then we'll be talking about, you know, we've talked about the similarities and the differences. Um, I think in, yeah, I can talk about these errors later. Yeah, let's let's make that the second video. Let's leave this video just like this.